Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. All right, so this is going to be the third episode of the Evo 10 engine build. And today, we got to get the head put on this motor. So let's get into that. First thing I want to do is get all the holes for the head studs cleaned up. So I'm going to flip this motor over and shoot a little brake cleaner in there and get them thoroughly cleaned out. And then uh, we'll get to threading in the ARP head studs. So we got this thing cleaned up. So what we will do is get these head studs threaded into the block. And you just want to do it hand tight. You don't want to torque them down at all. Once you get the head on there, then we can go ahead and tighten them down. But for now, we are just going to put them in the block hand tight. And if there's any binding when putting them in, um, you want to take them back out and clean out the threads to make sure uh, yeah, there's nothing in the way. So yeah, we'll just get these threaded in. up having to chase out these three holes right here because I was not able to get these guys in and that's something you don't want to be messing around with don't force these things in so check all your holes make sure that these go in hand tight easy as possible because you don't want to damage the block and you don't want the head to lift if you uh, end up throwing any boost at this thing so these are all good to go. We're just going to wipe this down and uh, we got to add a little three bond right here and then we can get the uh, head gasket on this thing. clean up the surface of the head once again with a little bit of brake cleaner and uh, then we have to get a couple of the washers for the ARP head studs inside the head first before we put it in because uh, you won't be able to once it's on get these in on the first two studs so we'll do that real quick again uh, we use some of this fastener lube just put a little bit on here and then we'll drop it into the head
particular sequence that these got to be tightened and for right now I'm just going to put the nuts on uh, just hand tight for now and uh, I'll put up on the screen the sequence that they have to be torqued down but we're just going to do a 30, 60, 90 uh, torque sequence on this thing so uh, we'll get into doing that. Um, one thing to note though is you have to grind down a socket for these two right here in order for it to fit and uh, these require a 12 point socket and uh, I'm pretty sure the one that I have is a half inch but the drive that I'm using is a 3 8 so you want to make sure you get that clear but uh, let's get these nuts on here real quick and then we can get to torquing So we are ready to torque these things down. Now with the timing chain side being over here, the sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's get into that. And once again, gonna do 30 foot-pounds, then 60 foot-pounds, and then a final torque of 90 foot-pounds. All right, the head is all torqued down. So now it's time to uh, get to installing the cams. So let's get into that. So the cams are ready to be installed. We got a little bit of assembly lube on all the buckets and also on the journals. And make sure that you get your thrust bearing that's uh, supposed to go on the exhaust side cam. 
make sure you get that in there. And also, just so you guys know, uh, they sell them individually as halves, not as a whole. So you need to buy two. And uh, there, whatever came out of your head should have had a number on the bearing. So make sure you pay close attention to that because you want to have the same exact one go back in. These on my head are a number two. So that's what I ended up ordering. But uh, yeah, we're ready to get the cams in. So uh, we'll install the exhaust cam first. And then we'll get the intake cam in. Now we're ready to get the can caps on these cams. So they actually are labeled to which ones they are, but you gotta make sure they go back on the right ones. So you have intake one, intake two, intake three, intake four, exhaust one, two, three, four. So you gotta make sure those caps go on the right one. And they have a little arrow pointing uh, to which direction that they should be going. So let's get those on hand tight real quick. sequence goes one two three four five six seven eight and they're torqued down to hundred and six inch pounds so let's get to doing that <laughs> Then we have this cam cap right here, and it basically, there's a sequence for it. It goes one, two, three, four, and then that will probably do to like 12 foot pounds, but the final torque spec on it is 22 foot pounds, and we'll just go back the opposite way on the 22 foot pounds. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap on this video. It's pretty long as is. So the next one, what we're going to end up doing is setting the timing, getting the oil pump on here and the oil pan. And that should be a wrap on this engine build. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and be sure to subscribe. Alright, till next time guys.